Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything related to Alphabet Inc., the company that owns lots of other companies like Waymo, X, Verily, and Google. I'm your guide, Aya Zaktar, and you are the excellent audience. Today we're talking about some free movies on YouTube, the buzz around the pixel, your comments, and more. But first up, let's talk about some phones. Let's check in at Android Avenue. It's time for more details about the upcoming Galaxy S10. Evan Blass says Samsung will be using a punch hole style selfie cam cutout for the S10, potentially the Infinity O display. I know what you're thinking. It's a me, Infinity O. And no, you can never unhear that again. I'm sorry. When Samsung introduced its flexible phone, it did briefly show off several different variants of the Infinity display with notches and cutouts. Another was labeled New Infinity, which did not seem to have any cutouts at all. Other details from Blast include three rear cameras, as has been rumored for a while, an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, and one UI over Android Pie. In a previous episode, we talked about a number of issues affecting the new pixels. One of them was an audible speaker buzz. As Nick Shaw eloquently stated on Twitter, my speaker sounds like at low volume, almost like a buzzing at the bottom one, and the sound is different depending on how I touch the back glass. On Twitter, a user posted a conversation with what looks to be a Google rep. In it, the world-famous Jenny said that a software update will be coming to address the audible buzzing. Prior to working at Google, Jenny was working from the block. Android police confirmed that the software update is coming. Russian site RosetteKed published pics of what could be an unreleased Google phone. It's rumored to be codenamed Sargo, and it could be a mid-range pixel. Sargo has a plastic back instead of a glass one and would include a headphone jack. It'd be around the same size as the Pixel 3, but use a mid-range processor. The site had published accurate Pixel 3 XL images this year, but then again, who didn't? Let us know if you're interested in a budget Pixel. Let's go to Uptown Updates. Over on YouTube, you can now watch a selection of movies for free, but they are ad-supported. Apparently, YouTube rolled this out very quietly last month. Some of the bigger titles include some Rocky movies, With Great Power, The Stan Lee Story, The Terminator, and everyone's absolute favorite Pauly Shore movie about living in a biodome movie, Biodome. As an aside, did you know that Biodome has a Metascore of 1 on Metacritic? Metascores are out of 100. That means it essentially got a point for existing. That's just amazing. Almost makes me want to watch it. Anyway, if you've got YouTube Premium, you can watch the films without ad breaks. As of this recording, there are almost 100 films available. A YouTube director says the catalog will grow in the future. Alphabet is getting rid of Shaft, a company that was working on bipedal robots. Alphabet was looking for a buyer for the company, but could not make the deal happen. If you're wondering what Shaft was, let's break it down. Who's the company that was working on machines to walk on two legs? Shaft, you're dang right. What was the company Google bought around the same time as Boston Dynamics? Shaft, can you dig it? Who was the... An Alphabet spokesperson told Nikkei, the following SoftBank's decision not to move forward with the Shaft acquisition, we explored many options but ultimately decided to wind down Shaft. Alphabet's artificial intelligence unit, DeepMind, is getting absorbed by Google. It will now be within a new section of the company called Google Health. DeepMind built an app that helped medical professionals spot kidney failure. The app was called Streams. CNBC says Google Health will include a products division with health hardware. Waymo CEO John Krafcik says the company will launch its self-driving car service in the next two months. The service will be available in the Phoenix area to a small group and will expand over time. Verily is holding off on its smart contact lens project. The lens was to help monitor glucose levels. In a blog post, the company said the lenses had an issue. They suffered from insufficient consistency in measurements of the correlation between tear glucose and blood glucose concentrations to support the requirements of a medical device. Verily says it will work on other lens tech as well as other ways to track glucose. Let's go to Comment Cove. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight at the most amazing audience in the world. You guys. Dexful says, why make the folded F so small? I'd like to see a 6.3 version unfold to 9 inches. Think big, Samsung. You know, I think this is just early days. I bet Samsung will gradually increase the size of the cover screen as time goes on. Alex asks, when is Google buying Twitter? I'm going to guess sometime between right now and 2021. Josh asks again, can you buy me a pizza? And Josh, I ask you, what kind? 
Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. You're still here. Let's talk a little bit about Black Friday deals. You can get the Google Home Hub, that's the one with the screen, for 99 bucks at Target or Walmart on Black Friday, or Best Buy or Lowe's on Thanksgiving Day, or Jet the day before Turkey Day at 10 p.m. Eastern. Check out CNET for all kinds of Black Friday deals.